Next up, we're going to take a look at the editing tools for Build a Game. If we scroll up to our Build button right here and select on it, we'll go ahead and get started. The Game World level screen is where you manage all the games, worlds, and levels that you make. The basics of the screen can be divided into two sections. The top bars, these are the scenes that you work in. And the bottom section, this is where we describe the items that we've selected from up above. So let's start at the top and work our way down. Each bar has a set of tools that allow you to manage the scenes that you're working with. We'll start on the right and work our way over. To create more games, worlds, or levels, simply click on the Add button. When you click on this, it generates a new game, world, or level. If you want to get rid of one, simply click on the Remove button. When it prompts you, do you want to remove the selected game, we'll say yes to it, or you can cancel out. If you want to copy and paste a scene, just select the scene and hit Copy and Paste. The game is selected, so we'll hit the Copy, and then the Paste. Then we made a copy of that game file. On the left side, we have options to reorder your list. Just select on, on an icon and click left or right to move it. So I'm going to select on this one, and then we're just going to select to move to the right, and that's going to move it right over here. Now within the list, you can slide it left or right by left clicking and dragging. And to activate it for editing the properties, simply select it, and then the bottom section is going to update for, up, for edits. So if we're on games, we can go in, edit our titles, our synopsis, and our icon image. Lastly, we can go in and actually edit the scene file, and to do that, once we have it selected, we can left click one more time, and that's going to load it up so that we can go into the editor and then start building out a world. We'll click on the back button to go back to the game world level. And then let's take a look at the bottom section in here. This is where we want to define the information for what we have selected above. So I have a game selected above, which is blue, and that's why we see everything in blue right here. So in here, I can go in and I can assign an icon, which takes me to a selection screen. I can select on the different tile sets that I have loaded, and then select an icon for it. So I'm going to make a selection of this one and click OK. It assigns it here so that we can see it in the My Games area, and then we see it down here as well. Next to it, we have an option for entering a title. We can select on it and enter a title here. Call this our first game, or we can use the random generator to the right and generate different fun names. Below that, we have our synopsis, so we can write something short and quick about what the product is, what the game is, and, and uh, kind of our catchphrase for it. And then we have a larger section below so that you can enter more of a description about the game itself. Next to that we have a genre. In the genre we have options for our main game genre and then our game subgenre. So from here you can click on the ones that you want to use. And then we have theme options, and in the theme options these are the tags that we use. We can say this is a crime, sci-fi, surreal, with a 2D pixel style. So whatever those may be, you're able to select those here and define what that game type is. Now for each world and each level, we can do the same thing, that you can go into the world. You can define a icon for that world. And then all the way down to defining icon for that level. So you have each one with it. And then you can define each one with its title, its synopsis, and its description. All right, so that is a basic breakdown for the Game World level screen. Be sure to check it out, give it a try, and start making some games.